this is Nibiru Watcher. It is February 14th, 2017. And I want to share with you an experience that I had yesterday. A solar eclipse that we're seeing now as halos or that were happening in the afternoon are now happening in the morning. And it seems, appears to me to be a longer lasting halo. So in the early morning, I started to see heavy spraying spraying of the sun during this eclipse and so you could see all the chemtrail clouds as they were spraying this and please please notice this is a cell phone so there's no shutter on it and look at the hexagonal sun it's pretty obvious why hexagonal because that's the shape of the source of light I may explain more of this during the so that got my suspicions going that I'm about to, that they're being covering up and spraying over these halos. Even the path of some of these planes are circular, okay? <laughs> right around and right across where the flares are showing up. Uh, not flares, but the rainbows. Look at this. Again, this is a cell phone. It doesn't have a shutter, okay? We can almost start to make out this large halo effect. And they're going to, they end up having this cloud right over where the rainbow appears. We can almost see early signs of it here. Next, I want to show you. So later on, this is just a couple hours later that the spring was getting very heavy. And now we're starting to see what the halo is appearing right here along this large shadow. So next time you see this spring, look. Zoom out your eyes and see the bigger picture here of this massive shadow and expect right across from this or the right of the left to start seeing rainbows appear right here. It goes off and on. Now people want to say that that's the light refracting from the chemtrails. Well, there's many times so it's not refracting from the chemtrails. You know, you just got to use your common sense look at the shadow across coming across this again we haven't yet to see but there's going to be later on the course of the day we're going to see a rainbow here and from the left and the right first the right then the left interesting because this whole system appears in our sky to going from west to east again look at the light absence of light here and later on in the day i find a witness as I was videotaping this. Okay, now it's a few hours later and we can see the this system is now evolving into a halo. Look that they just happened to get that chemtrail right across the sun and now we're seeing the shadow of this massive planet and right near the horizon of both sides of this halo we're going to get at the first the Three o'clock position and then the nine o'clock position in that order. So get my fat finger out of the way here and let me show you the rest of this video. That we can see the light coming from around this planetary object and the rainbow light pinch effect that we're seeing. Almost getting the rainbow in this video. Next. So now it's been a few hours later, and guess what? We are now getting a rainbow, and look how dark it is outside. It was this moment in time that I noticed the absence of heat, because this burning sun was hot this morning, yesterday morning, and we can see this halo, this rainbow effect that we're seeing on this cloud is going to fill in when they chemtrail you know like when they chemtrail it actually makes it more obvious now and look at that how hard they're hitting this thing okay so next now here's where it gets interesting so in this video i get my fat finger in the way but now the halo is getting quite obvious and so i pull over the side of the road and i start videotaping what i know expect to see 
an actual eclipse. Look at even down here, this whole shadow is going to eclipse the sun. And there you go. Did you see that? Now we're seeing this rainbow atmospheric pressure, which is the light coming from around the planet from our true sun. That's what this is. This is the fake sun in the middle. You can pause that. Look at the squared off edges of this hexagonal sun simulator. It's hexagonal because its source of light is from a sun simulator. And we can see it literally, let me run the video here. And it's pretty cool. You see that? Yeah. So at this point, I run into a. You see that? An you see the rainbow, rainbow here? Or fellow witness. Oh yeah. And, and I you see the sudden interest out. of cover up here? Do you know what you're looking at, man? No. I've got a YouTube channel on this. I know it sounds. Insane. So I go and tell him that he's basically looking at a solar eclipse, and during a solar eclipse, you would expect the absence of heat and everything but a light show from the fake sun simulator. So let's listen to his response as I ask him to what he they, is feeling on his skin as the sun yeah. eclipses. Right? You can almost look at the sun. Now give it a little while. This is going to eclipse. We're actually looking Sorry at Sorry about the sun. finger in the way. I know it sounds crazy. But near the altitude of the space station, there is a fake sun. And that's exactly... And it's to hide these eclipses. We've been getting these halos. And take notice. Look at the size of the thing. Do you see how they're covering this giant freaking round part up? Yeah. You saw the chemtrails here, how it's round? Uh -huh. Okay. Look at this here. And if you actually watch this on a time lapse, it's about, it's passing now. You feel the heat coming back on your face? Yeah. You feel that? That's insane, isn't it? That is. I'm at us. There it goes. It's about, it's passing now. You feel the heat coming back on your face? Yeah. You feel that? That's insane, isn't it? That is. Yeah, so I just asked him if he'd felt the heat come and going from his face. And over the course of 15 minutes in this conversation, that this gentleman I was speaking with, we both felt the heat come and go as the sun was being, our true sun was being eclipsed with the fake sun between us and the plant and our sun. So again, why the fake sun to hide the solar eclipses from multiple planets that's why we have a fake sun i'm telling you people you need to search youtube type in fake feel the heat of the sun so wow that's crazy. that right there is the actual sun this white sun is the fake sun now we can see about, i would say 10 now we can see the uh Sorry, my fat fingers continue to get in the way, but let me get past that and get some good footage here for once. I apologize. What we catch in this video, you can see the hexagonal sun. See the angles on it right there. We'll go back a second. There. Look how the light's coming off this fake thing. Okay, this is the lens flare. That's what a lens flare, the green lens flare. As I move the camera around, let me get my fat finger out of the way. Could be a little frustrating. Should have just used a regular camera. In this portion of the video, we now see this bright spot in the sun is beginning to form what a rainbow. So apparently when we see this come in, it comes like a very faint rainbow, then to a bright white light, and then back to a faint rainbow again, and then disappears. This is exactly the same radius it is from where the other rainbow appeared. And over at this point in the video, I want you to recognize the lack of light, absence of light the shadow we have from here to here. And again, I asked him, go experience this yourself. Go look at, look at the squared off sun 
Remember, again, this is a cell phone. There's no shutter on a cell phone. Hardcore evidence that there is a fake sign. And later in this video, we do see this light up now appearing on the chemtrail exactly now at the nine o'clock position we keep seeing these so-called sun dogs but that's supposed to be where cirrus clouds but these are chemtrails you can see it with the planes in the air these are not cirrus clouds and now we can see in this portion of the video let me just run a video you see how big this thing is getting right here right under my fat finger and that continues to grow brighter and brighter during the course of this video while the right side of the halo was eclipsing it's very difficult to catch this when the sun is so blindingly hot in between these videos and now we can see this thing really appearing this is the left side of the sun at the nine o'clock position and for a moment we could even catch all right so i'm just going to play the end of the tape again that this light had appeared the pinch effect when i say pinch that means there's the light is uh being eclipsed from this side of the sun as this whole planet travels from east to west by the way the left side this is east and the right side of the camera is west then I want to show you something else. So, now this is an image from the SLR camera. The temperature, obviously, the white light is the hottest light. Noise in the background, turn it down. These are cars traveling down here. These are signs and light posts. This is the sun, and look at this thing roasting in front of me. I have more of this infrared FLR camera, which you can attach to your, attach to your cell phone. You can get these for about $250. Okay, so this is a video that I caught. Now I want you to also notice the cycle. There's the sun. Did you see that? Completely. This isn't the same F. This is a different time of the day. And we can see for several couple of seconds, it's absolutely nothing there. It could not be a sunspot because sunspots take days, if not hours, to go in. You would know where you'd see sunspots from the sun. Where are the rest of them? This thing's rotating. Look at that cool spot. That's crazy. So we can count this cycle here that it took from it to look at the time frame here. One. How many seconds does it take before it, whatever it is, begins to. I believe that's the cooling mechanism of this artificial sun. You just keep the beam on it and you keep the sunspot. It's not a sunspot. It couldn't be. <laughs> Wouldn't know. There's no way you're going to pick up a sunspot from a, a short range infrared camera. <laughs> Besides, it take. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it would take hours for this thing to disappear. It's not picking that up. Okay. <laughs> I think it just speaks for itself. So down here, you know, you got the trees. Go get these cameras, and you can pick this up yourself. And look how long this thing. Look, it's like a cycle. Do you see how it cycles from being completely white? How many seconds is that? See, this is my hand. And this cycle begins again. 
we got uh, trying to keep between cycles and see more about this mechanism that's in our skies. I'd say approximately 400 kilometers out. I'd say the roughly the orbit of the space station. So it'll cycle like that, go completely white. It's fairly large, whatever it is. And also, according to uh, Chris Potter, that there is actually a magnifying glass that actually magnifies the size of the emitter, making it larger than it really is. So it really is more of a flashlight effect that we're getting here. So I find that interesting that not only is this is rot whatever it is, it's rotating, spinning Fresnel lens that we see. So in here in this video here, we see the same spinning Fresnel lens. This is over in Australia. This one's counterclockwise because they're beneath us. Australia time lapse video. It's projection because of the lens system that we have in our skies. So there's something in a very low orbit in our planet. There you have more proof of the fake sun. Please copy, like, share this video, and keep an eye out for these sun halos who appear to be occurring in the morning rather than the afternoon, at least for the next week or two, as these planets are getting closer and further to us in their highly eccentric orbit, which is like a comet. And I also believe that as it gets closer to the, our sun, then we're going to get brighter lights around the halo. Because And then as you get closer to our Earth, we're going to get more of a shadow and less of the light from around the halo, the sun dogs. So please copy, like, and share this video. Have a blessed day.